What's up guys, FSC Trucking. Hey, it's uh, been an interesting Memorial Day weekend for me. Uh, <laughs> thanks to my best friend Bino. We had an, we had an absolute awesome time. Went, uh, went riding a bunch, took the Harley out. I finally got the Harley back here. So actually when I made the last video, the Harley was at home. So after the conclusion of last weekend, um, I had Jen pick me up here after I dropped the Harley off because we're probably done for a little bit. Um, so yes, and I got all the toys back, thank God. So that makes me happy. The whole thing with this video is we were going to get into Orwell here. Now, Orwell had some issues that I had fixed up. Uh, the last video and the fixing Orwell video was supposed to be all the same video, and that didn't happen. So that's what this video is. So from right now, we're going to pick up on where I left off with uh, my sudden end to the video from the last video. From here, we're going to pick up where the other video ended, which I actually filmed on Friday. So today's Tuesday. The rest of the video from here on was filmed Friday. Enjoy. I'm sure some of you noticed my step has been missing. So it broke right here. I had Maggie weld a fish plate to it. These are available new, I think, still. And it's a common thing for pier builds to have this specific failure. You would think they would come up with a better design. So far, I haven't seen it. But it works, so we'll just have to work with it. I'll put the step back on and I won't have to climb over no more. Believe me, I miss having a step. Perfect. Alrighty. Now I got a step again. Don't they make those in stainless? Alrighty, so now this had some trouble. The way Peterbilt designed this luggage rack, and I've been letting this go for probably too long. The way Peterbilt set up this luggage door is you open the door, and behind here is a pull tang. It hasn't worked since uh, I put the truck online, I dare say, uh, I don't know, three years ago. About a month in, the string broke. So to open this, I always just grab this cable that was always dangling. I usually tuck it up under here, pull it up, and then open the door. There's two latches, one here and one here. This latch exists, this latch exists. The part on the cab, well, I'll just show you. The part of the cab that hold, that sticks up, it's a steel tang, it broke. So now, there's nothing to hold the door, and it, of course, failed while it's out on the road. So, the first time you might have seen this, that I had this kind of janky uh, bungee cord setup was on uh, 18 wheels rolling video where he was like, what's up with this? Well, this is why. It's a two part problem here. The draw cable, that was one problem. Actually, this would be a three part problem. The draw cable, that's one problem. It was there since forever. Second problem was the hinge broke. So this hinge is still good. This hinge is gone. And uh, there's the tab. You see the little, let me move this. I need to make a better system in here. Maybe I'll do that later. But this tab here is where this latch hooks onto. This latch. There's another one here that's completely gone unused. This one just pulled right out of the floor. See the aluminum still bolted to it or riveted to it. There's that. So you got this problem, the broken problem, maybe a five part problem because these gas struts don't work. And man, does that need some oil. That's why they break. So this one's not broken, but this one did break. So we're gonna go ahead and address that. I know I have too many projects going on here. In this box is what solves our problems. So, oh no, that solves the dirty gold wing windshield problem. In this box is what solves the Peterbilt's problem. These are the pull cables. Now, 
one for one side, one for the other. The way these pull cables actually function is like so. You pull, it's like a, I don't know why it costs so much. That plastic ain't no joke. Almost cut my cable. <laughs> Alrighty. So it's like a hood, old school car hood pull release, right? That goes into the cab, and then traveling on the door, these two cables, it pulls both simultaneously. That way it's one latch and the second latch all at the same time. That's that. Then we have the hinge. It's not much more than an aluminum piano hinge that's been put through a metal break. Um, that's what makes it like a hundred thousand times more than a normal piano hinge. I don't even think it says Peterbilt on there. Uh, the part number appears to be 20-11093. Right there. And there's ovals, so it's kind of like Peterbilt oval. There's your red oval markup. The receipt for, what is this? That's not even Peterbilt. Who the hell is E.R. Wagner? That's who made the pull cables. There's Bergstrom's. Why do I have a Bergstrom receipt? Oh, that's for the Jeep. And then this should be the Peterbilt receipt, right? Yeah. No. Or Jeep stuff. Jeep stuff. You know what? Jen has the Peterbilt receipt. O'Reilly's Jeep stuff. All right. I might have cleaned the pickup truck up by putting them in this box. That's Sean's receipt. It's not mine. All right. So there's our hinge. Maybe I should have ordered the second one, but I only ordered one. All right. Well, let's do what we can. That'll hold it for a little while, I guess. Cable pull. The longer one goes here. I guess there used to be a light switch here. There is a light in the back in the hole there. So that takes the, well, that's the cable pull into the cab. That one's been just dis, not disconnected, but it's just been spun around. You used to be able to get your hand in here to open it up, which uh, I guess there's another panel there to reach your hand in if you ever had to. They make holes in the bottom of the sleeper so you can get your hand in there to release these manually if you had to, if the cable ever broke to get in the door. Um, that's where they ran the green APU's hose up in there, but there's another one here. This one we're taking just to get the cable out. Old truck life, boys and girls, I'm telling you, it is a thing. I have an old truck like this, it's just, you, it's, the amazing thing is the amount of little crap that happens that it just, it's the details it really is yeah yeah and i get a lot of comments well, you, you should do this you should do that yeah maybe You're probably right probably ought to i don't i'm stubborn all right got some light on you might see flashing because of the light but can't do much about that so when i bought orwell this is how it was this pole just wasn't doing anything, wasn't even hooked up. They just swung it out of the way, effectively. Right there. All right, it just bolts right here with these little screws.
Perfect. Really? Nut started on the inside's broken and it's letting it spin. So why do they have to make it even more complicated than it already is? always worked. Well, I shouldn't say it always worked, it just maybe. I had a bad feeling this is going to turn into surgery. That's all that's left. Second cables will broke right in there. Alrighty, we'll try to fish this up in there now. shouldn't tape these two together or work together. I feel like what I have to do now is pull this rubber down so I can access the bolt screw, the screws to pull the other half the hinge off. Actually, this ought to just break off now. What did I forget one or two? Oh, I forgot one. All right, that one still got to come out. But either way, you still got to pull this down. I know I had to change or remove this. I would have bought new stuff, but oh, it's not going off that bad. It ought to be able to go back on. Ugh. Those rivets or screws. Why would you do that? Those are rivets, those are not screws. Well, may as well get the one that I forgot.
they work better and cut fingers off more efficiently when you turn the air on. In case you didn't know. It comes loose. How'd you rivet that on? Oh, that's what they did though. I'm gonna try to push these rivet heads up into the truck cab. Good, I go in. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send uh, self tappers up in there. That should work. You now my thought is I'll attach the plate to the door first. Although the door, I was thinking I was gonna attach the hinge to the door first, but the door's hinges are ovaled where those are not. So I don't have to worry about placement. as much as I thought. However, <clears throat> all right, so these, as I drop them, it's been a theme around here, boys and girls. These are stainless, although I don't know what grade is stainless because they are somewhat magnetic. But the idea is to, yeah, never mind. All right, well, since I don't have bigger self-tapping screws, I guess in the spirit of bad ideas, we're gonna continue with more bad ideas. We'll pop rivet them. All right, in you go. Oh, that feels so good. Now I'll start threading the luggage door onto the hinge, leaving these bolts a little loose so it'll float and move around as needed. This one has the cable hold. Alrighty, boys and girls so now as you can see we're back it is Tuesday Memorial Day weekends over we're back to now so the battery in the camera I'm holding right now died in the middle of finishing this we just about had it done then the battery crapped out so let me show you how the finished product turned out check this out so the way it's supposed to work is see there's a line right there you can see from me always pulling up the cable I never showed that on the channel before because well, I just didn't want to. I mean, why would you show off what's broke? So the way it works is you open the door, and I yeah, know that hinge is shot, and you pull on this handle here, and it opens. Voila! Now this hinge still squeaks. That's this one over here in the back, so I'm going to have to get that replaced here eventually. But there we go. There's the green APU uh, HVAC unit. Oh, by the way, I don't think anybody noticed the different color lid on the green APU. We'll get in that in a minute. So yeah, when you pull on the cable, you got this one here, this latch, 
and then that latch right there all on the same cable pull they both ride up to the top and go into the cab right there like so then they close it and you just done so now it's got both side latches holding it closed and the cable pull the only bad thing is uh you have to open the door to open it and if it's winter time and the door ain't open or the window ain't open i'm sorry um you gotta crawl inside crawl over to unlock the door to unlatch this now that can be a pain in the neck but for the time being that's fine so i'm gonna look into in the future that's something i'm gonna have to address is replacing these hinges this one's squeaky on the door and the other one on the driver door well simply it's worn out you'd be amazed how you can literally just wear out your door